Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny, and in this video, I'll be fishing with the Zoom Salty Centipede and the Z-Man Finesse Frog Z. Let's check it out. Whoa, there we go. Yeah! Woo, holy cow, folks. Top Water Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny. Look at that beast right there, baby. I think I won the tournament with that one right there. I am the one with this one. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here. Wanna welcome you to the next video here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about some soft plastics here. And the first one that we're gonna take a look at is the Z-Man Finesse Frog. And this is actually a top water frog right here. And then we're gonna do a little closer look at that one. And then the other one, and I don't often fish with very many worms, plastic worm types, but I do fish with some, and I want to share with you the one that I do fish with and have fish with. It is actually the Zoom Salty Centipede right there. The Zoom Salty Centipede right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a closer look at the Salty Centipede and the Z-Man Finesse Frog, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right. Okay, here they are. This is the Zoom Salty Centipede right here. And this is the Z-Man Finesse Frog. These are the two actual soft plastics that I'll be fishing with in this video here. want to show you something else here. Is that I also love using the Trapper Hook right here. This is a Trapper Hook. And this is a special design hook right here that they sell in the marketplace by Trapper Tackle. But then also, because I'm fishing heavy lily pads as well, I'll also use this Eagle Claw hook right here with the Weed Guard protector right there as well. So these are actually the two types of hooks I'll use on that Salty Centipede. I use a smaller hook for the Z-Man because I want to keep it light because it's a top water. Although I do run this across the top water as well. But I use a little bit heavier hook so I can get down there, prevent snags, but then also be able to lock those fish down. So I just wanted to give you a closer look at it. Also, I want you to notice that when you look at the actual salty centipede, let's do a quick measurement there. As you can see, that is about four inches long. So it's not a very big actual worm at all, but it's the one that I've been using. And it's the one that's been the most effective for me when trying to catch those bass. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. All right. Okay, we're back. And what I wanted you to do there was just get a closer look at the type of soft plastics that I'm going to be fishing with in this video here. And like I said before, I am a really big fan of the Z-Man Finesse Frog. Plus this thing, and look at this. This is crazy thing here. This has that super duper rubber right here really stretchable so when you are lacing this one up on a hook right here you don't have to worry about this actually breaking it is like ultra stretchy here so this one right here definitely a big fan of it it's hot outside here in florida it's getting a little tough to catch them and the water because it gets so warm a lot of algae blooms come up and it starts to bubble up so they're hiding really in all of that algae and all that gunk really under the water. So it suddenly makes it tough. Now, if you are a puncher and you punch through, then you could probably get to them that way. But I'm not much of a punch fisherman. So I'm using something like this to actually entice them to come through the lily pads, to come through that all that muck and actually hit. And also, in the video, you're going to see I'm fishing early in the morning. So I'm trying to employ different strategies here. Early in the morning, throwing into that heavy cover, cross the top where it doesn't snag up here. So I'm using the Z-Man Finesse Frog for that. Now, also in this footage here, I wanted to show you something that I did in the past. And I used to fish with the Zoom 
salty centipede. And a guy told me about it. He said, it's a fish catcher, Johnny. You should use it. Now, I know people use Senkos, and I know people use all types of different worms. I actually like Big Bite Bait Squirrel Tail with the little yellow tail on the end of it. I love it. But one of the first worms that I actually fished with and started catching bass on was the salty centipede here. And what I would do was when I would put it on the hook here, I would either wacky rig it like this right here so it so it bounced around, or I would Texas, Texas rig it as well. And as you can see right there, this is full of salt right here. This is one of their green pumpkins right here. And Zoom still produces these right here, just so you know. So Zoom still makes these here. And it's a fish catcher. And so I've really never showed any footage of me catching bass on that. So I wanted to share with you guys some footage of me fishing with that Zoom in open water, then in heavy cover as well. Also, some of the hooks that I'll be using in the video is I'll be using that Eagle Claw right there. It's Eagle Claw, but it has the actual weed guard that goes on there. So I was using that as well with the Z-Man. And then also, I was using the Trapper Hook here. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with that, but the Trapper Hook, I was using that one as well to line up my Zoom actual centipede, you know, salty centipede as well. So what I wanted to do here was just kind of share with you some of the soft plastics that I use when fishing gets tough. Now, when it gets really hot, I don't really want to be out there in the, hot, in the heat of the day unless I'm on a boat, but I don't have a boat. I'm a bank fisherman, so I've got to find cover, and I've got to find places where they'll be hiding at. So that's why I fish early in the morning because there's a little bit more chance for me to catch them than during the middle of the day. Now, as you see with this one here, I'm going to be fishing in heavy lily pads at the end of the video. And I'm able to find them because that's where they're hiding at. So what I wanted to do here was just kind of give you some insight on some other things that I actually do to fish and catch those fish as well. As always, I'm always in love with top water, but there are other things I will do when it gets really, really tough to make it happen. So you're going to get one here. Once again, you're going to get that Z-Man right there, Finesse Frog, and you're going to get that Zoom Salty Centipede here in this video. Please like, subscribe to the channel. I've noticed that my viewership is starting to go down, and I'm not sure about that, but please make sure you hit the notification so you are notified because... I'm not always getting listed, and I'm not sure what that's about, but I need your help out there, everybody who watches my videos, and also share them with other people as well. So thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Got you, buddy. Look at that, folks. Look at that. He sucked it down slow. I got him on this little. I got him on this toad. Him. If you can see everybody, I got this one on that Z-Man on that little toad going across the top there. All right. There he is. Got this nice little one on that Z-Man toad right there. So no complaints, all right. Everybody's top water Johnny right here. Got this one here on that little Z-Man toad, so they're in those weeds, but I got this one, so this is a nice one. All right. There we go. Wow. I don't even know. Wow. At the last minute, folks, 
I was pulling up. I'm not even sure if you saw that on camera or not. But I got this one on that little finesse frog. On that Z-Man finesse frog, got him. Wow, that was a surprise right there. He came out of nowhere, exploded on it. Well, there he is. This little one exploded on that Z-Man finesse frog right at the last minute, right when I was coming out of the water. Incredible. Not a big one, but you got to be ready when they come for it. All right. There it is. There it is. There we go. Boom. I got one over there in the corner. It's pretty good. Got a water thing. There we go. There we go. Woo! Not bad. In the weeds. What <clears throat> does me that way? In the weeds. In the pads. Caught him in there. On a little worm there. It's been a while. It's a little bit, you know, it's not a little less than a a little less than a pound, but I got one, and uh, it's just been a while, so not bad at all, not bad at all, hiding in the weeds. There we go, look at that. In the, the weeds, in the weeds, on a worm, look at that, look at that right there, in the weeds, on a worm, classic, salty worm there, and there, there it is, didn't even see the hit, didn't even see or feel the hit on that one, but, nonetheless, I got one on a worm, even though I was running it through the pads across the top, he just slurped it right up. So there we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Hey, we got one. Hung in there and finally got one. Up in the weeds up in the weeds finally Woo. I got a little one up in up in the weeds there hey everybody talk with Johnny here just want to thank you for watching this video here in this video you got a chance to see me using that Z-Man finesse frog Z that little micro frog and then you also got a chance to watch some clips of me fishing with the Zoom Salty Centipede. Now, I'm not sure how many people out there have ever seen that lure before. In other words, it's a soft plastic, and most people fish in traditional Senko worms, but Top Water Johnny is always trying to do something a little bit different, and I got onto that worm a while back, and someone said it was just a killer. So when I first really started fishing, I started using that Salty Centipede to kind of get me comfortable with fishing with soft plastics, and then later, I moved into other bigger worms and started fishing with those and eventually became a topwater guy. But I never forget where I started. And I, and I started with plastics. That's where, I saw, that's where I started. That's where things began. And now, here we are. So I just wanted to share with you some footage of me fishing 
with a soft plastic worm. And like I said before, the salty centipede is everywhere. So you can probably get it at any one of your local fishing tackle stores, but it's just a classic. And I would definitely recommend it to those that want to try something a little bit different to catch those fish. So once again, this is Top Warrior Johnny here. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and always remember that phrase when it comes to fishing, keep your line tight, because when they hit those top water lures, it's going to be a big bite. All right.